So how do people prepare for this judgment coming, this tribulation time coming? Well, the best way to prepare for it is to get saved from your sins, get close to God because of it, start to hear his voice speaking to you. He'll tell you to read the Bible and learn truth from it. As you read the Bible, it can build your faith in God. That's the most important thing you need for the judgment coming. The truth and faith. If you prepare with those things, you'll be ready like Noah for the judgment coming on the wicked. But if you're not listening to God and you don't think reading the Bible is important and you don't think trying to build your faith up in God through difficult suffering circumstances is important, you're not going to have a strong faith in God. If you don't understand spiritual warfare, you're not going to defeat Satan trying to stop you from reading the Bible or stop you from trusting in God. You'll just become captive to the devil doing his will, going into his satanic world empire slaughter of the wicked in the future, which isn't a good idea. You need a good relationship with God to be able to handle his judgment on the wicked coming in the future. So the best way to prepare for what's coming is to get a good relationship with God going now. Let him explain sin to you and seek his help to stop doing it. Because it weakens you. you got to be close to God, obeying God to be able to handle all this stuff coming. You have to have faith. He can raise me from the dead. He can drop my enemies dead at my feet. He can feed me in the desert for 40 years. I don't need a mark of the beast to... Be able to survive. I don't need a gun to protect me. I need God to protect me. It's like what God said to Moses at the Red Sea. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Or stand still and let God fight for you or whatever. You got to believe that you got the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the angels surrounding you. You're not alone. Like Jesus said, I'm not alone, my Father's with me. And they're fully capable of helping you with all your problems and protecting you from all of your enemies. It's like Pharaoh thought he was greater than God or something. Yet God could just send an angel to drop his firstborn son dead anytime. We need a proper fear of God and a proper fear of sin and try to stay away from that dangerous stuff and choose a good relationship with God for safety. And do what he's telling us to do. Like he told Noah, go build an ark. Uh, I'm going to drown these wicked people eventually. So he did. It's like God speaking to us today. Read the Bible. Pray. Try to teach truth. Uh, be ready with truth, knowledge, and faith in me to handle this judgment coming. An ark of truth knowledge an ark of faith in God or something to protect us from this judgment on the wicked that has to come in the future those who are listening to God's voice like Noah are preparing for this kind of thing it's like Jeremiah listened to God's voice and he warned him of slavery and slaughter coming to Israel for its sins and that God was going to use the slavery and slaughter for a good purpose Instead of wiping Israel off the planet, he allowed them to go into slavery to try to learn not to sin against them like they were. It's like Joseph receiving God's help in slavery. Daniel receiving God's help in slavery. Us receiving God's help in slavery today. Supernatural help. Superman, Jesus living inside of us. We can handle it with Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So it's like it talks about in Romans 13. God controls the governments for his purposes to bring punishment on the wicked and to help the righteous people. Sort of like Joseph receiving favor with the Pharaoh. Daniel receiving favor with the king of Babylon. That God gifts you to be able to handle these wicked governments and try to bring some good of the situation for the kingdom of God. It's like first Satan wants to control the churches, then he wants to control the government. And if the church lets Satan control them, sort of like 
first the churches get demon controlled and then the governments get demon controlled it just gets worse and worse like the people in the days of Noah or something and then they get to a certain point where God says oh, okay that's enough I gotta judge these people it's like God's waiting to bring the judgment in the future he's trying to prepare his bride to be able to handle it his bride is very slow to listen to him or get ready for it he's trying to give them as much time as he can before the judgment to prepare his bride so they don't just apostatize in the future so like Romans 13 says pray for the Pharaoh pray for the king of Babylon pray for whoever is ruling the world in the future pray for Trump right now or something and if they take you into slavery, God can help you to work with them for his good purposes. It's like it says in the Old Testament, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and he directs it wherever he wills, like a river or something. God's in control. Pharaoh, king of Babylon, whoever's the leader of the world today, which we probably don't know his name, of the global government or something. Well, the foolish are not aware of these things. The foolish are being distracted by Satan from reading the Bible, praying, hearing God's voice, like Satan's telling them to watch TV and watch junk on the internet or something. What if Noah didn't want to do what God told him to do? He wouldn't have built an ark and he wouldn't have been safe. If we do what God wants us to do now, we'll be safe when we need God's help in the judgment to come. If we want to keep listening to Satan, everything's fine. There's no judgment coming. You don't need to read the Bible. You don't need to pray. Then we won't be ready for what's coming. And we could be easily slaughtered and end up in hell or something like that. We prepare by getting saved. We prepare by learning the truth from the Bible. We prepare by praying and hear what God's telling us to do to get ready for what's coming how to obey him, how to build faith in him, how to believe truth from him. That's like our ark of safety or something. A good relationship with Jesus, a good relationship with Father God. But the foolish try to think that I don't believe that hell's real or judgment for sin's coming or something on the earth. I'm not preparing for anything. I'm just going to enjoy my selfish pleasure till I drop dead and go to hell or come into this judgment and uh, apostatize or something. It's like uh, most of the church will just apostatize when the trouble hits because the church isn't preparing them for the trouble to hit. Church pastors need to be telling people God's judgment's coming and the best way to get ready for it is a good relationship with God, but they're not doing that, most of them. So if Noah didn't prepare, there'd be no ark built. Well, I went and I listened to the the local entertainer or something all the time like Satan told me to I didn't get my ark ready and then when the rains came no one his family drowned we wouldn't be alive today but because he listened to God he did what God told him to do to prepare for the judgment he built the ark and he was safe in the ark if we listen to what God is telling us to do and get prepared for what's coming we'll be safe with Jesus when it comes so this is the best way to prepare for God's judgment coming. Get saved so that if you drop dead, you don't go to hell, you go to heaven instead. Read God's Bible, learn his truth from it. It's not, this shouldn't be boring to us. This should be the most exciting thing to do. Better than TV or internet, reading the Bible. Because God's teaching you awesome knowledge as you read it. You've got an awesome God teaching you awesome knowledge as you read this book. It should not be boring. It should be life-giving. Bring you closer to God, closer to the Holy Spirit's love, joy, and peace. Closer to no fear, no depression, no anger. Closer to hope for God's help through this terrible judgment coming on the wicked in the future. And hope for, I don't have to go to hell when I die, I can go to heaven instead. Hope for great rewards on Judgment Day and great careers on Judgment Day. To live in a perfect place with no more Satan or evil or suffering. Heaven to come. A new earth to come with Jesus.